Good day, guys. Being here. Um, today we are going to model some bricks. Okay, so um, it will be something like this, and this will be the result. Okay, so let's start. Um, first, so uh, previously we did this one. So this is day five, eight, four. So we did a uh, adaptive brick, uh, adaptive family that um, create this pattern. So it will be similar. It will be similar. Um, maybe let's just start from scratch. Okay. So uh, um, so. First, let's create a new family. So it will be a pattern-based family. And uh, before we change anything, we need to select this uh, grid, pattern grids, change it to rect rectangle checkboard. Okay, so now, so last time we create a, we, we, we somehow we offset this point and create a extrusion but this time we're going to use different method because we need to rotate rotate these bricks we can't do extrusion anymore so what we're going to do is we're going to um, just follow me okay so um, first place point draw on face place it in the midpoint on the midpoint and midpoint and then select these two Create a spline, make a reference line, and then select uh, place another point, draw on face, and place it on this midpoint. So now we have this point. So um, let me just uh, turn on this uh, a show uh, reference plans. So always. So now we can see this is a reference plan, and this is going to be. Uh, we are going to place uh, create a brick a form uh, on this. So before that, I'll rough, I'll just roughly change the grid because currently that's three meter by three meter. So um, I will change this one to so horizontal. I think uh, I'm not sure which one, which side is horizontal, but uh, maybe front, maybe it's here to here. Oh, hang on. So maybe we need to double check. So see this is the front. Um, I think we should should do it this way instead of this. So ah, sorry about that. So let's just quickly change it. I'll delete this and place a point here, a point here. Select these two points, spline and reference line. And then place a point, draw on face, midpoint and turn on the reference plans. Okay, so now if you look at this, so this is front, this is top, and so uh, what we can do is we can sel select this grid, change this one to roughly the, the size of bricks. Okay, so the horizontal spacing, I think it will be um, 230 or maybe 240 and vertical space will be 86. Okay, so uh, maybe let me change the scale. So, yeah, all good. So now what we need to do is we need to, uh, so imagine, oh, actually, I think we need to, so let me just do a, do a screenshot of this. Okay, so this will eventually will be a, uh, brick size this so you will have another pattern here right another pattern because this is a check board so it looks like if we use this dimension use this size of this grid so the brick won't touch the, the, the one next to it so it looks like we need to half this so let's change this one to um, one, one twenty. So now, if we, 
I'll do an, another screenshot. If we have a brick, so which is two, roughly two thirty, and because we have this pattern here, another pattern here, so which means another brick here, right? Another brick here. So eventually, so we will have a, a brick, roughly a brick wall, and depending on the gap. So if you want to increase the gap of this, so you can slightly increase the, the horizontal spacing here. So let me just change it to 140. Okay, so now, now we can model the brick, the, this brick. So what I'm going to do is reference, rectangle, draw on word plan, set word plan, pick this uh, word plan, and I'll just draw draw a brick shape, uh, shape, okay, so it will be a brick, something like this, and then I want to uh, maybe change the scale a little bit, yeah, so tab, select, I want to change this to the size of brick to 30, and also select this one, this uh, needs to be 110. And then I want to center this shape, center this shape to uh, this point. So what I'm going to do is I'll just M V move. First, I want to move this corner to here. Oops, sorry. Control Z. Something's not right. Select all four reference lines. M V this corner to this point, and then M V midpoint back to this corner M V this point to midpoint so now this profile is centered uh, to this point okay so so now we can create a, a form a solid and we need to we need to um, extrude this uh, to both sides so um, it will be the thickness is 86, so which means the oh, hang on, 86 uh, minus mortar 76 divided by 2, 38. Both side, so this will be act, the actual brick, brick. Okay, so this is one of it. And also, let me type WF, click on this point. So this rotation angle. So let's create a angular parameter. So let's call it A instance. And OK. And OK. So now change it to HL. And we can go to family types. So if we change that rotation angle, and you will see, we will rotate this brick. Now to degree. Try negative, negative 30. All good. Back to zero. And OK, so now this is it. This is one of the pattern based family. So now we can let's try, try to create a conceptual mass. OK, so in so first, let's let's um, let's draw a reference line. So I'm going to just draw a, a straight line, something like, like this, and then select this reference line, create a form. So let me change the scale a little bit. So now this form and we can create, a, we can divide the surface and then change the change the U grid, U grid and the V grid to a fixed distance. So for the U grid, we can, we can use 86 and V grid, we can use, so let's try 120, or actually, let's try 140. So this is up to you. So um, I'll show you what happens. So oh, yeah, we need to load this into here, and then we can ch use this pattern. OK, so this is our. Uh, Brick, brick screen. So you will see, you can the gap between these is uh, is for mortar, but uh, 
if you don't want to see this gap, you can change it just to, so for example, 76. Okay. So now I'll just leave it 86 and also the gap between these, uh, you can control it by changing this one. So if it's 120, it'll be 10 mil gap. Okay, so because we're going to rotate this brick, so sometimes when you rotate a little bit, so uh, you might close the gap. So if 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 you're going to model a screen, you you probably want uh, to increase this gap, so you still uh, you can still see through this screen, although uh, the bricks are rotated. Okay, so now uh, you can manually, so you can manually tab select individual brick and you can rotate them okay you can rotate them to whatever angle you like right but uh, this will take a long time to uh, to adjust this to create something like this one so what we can do to do to create this something like this is we can use dynamo so okay so let's do it so first go manage and dynamo. Okay, so let me just drag this screen to here. Okay, so new. So first we need to select this ele uh, element, so select this family. So Revit uh, selection. Oh, before that, I want to change this to menu. Okay, so selection family type. So go find this family and then all element of family type. So link this one. So if you click run, so now we have 563 of these bricks. And then the next step is we need to, so right click and type set parameter by name. Okay, so this is the one we're going to use so we'll link this to element parameter name is the angular uh, angle parameter so it's capital a and link link this to parameter name and then the value so the uh, we are going to create a list of um value so which is angle angle um, but uh, we are going to going to create this list by using the distance between these bricks and something. <laughs> okay, so this something will be some uh, lines. So first I want to just uh, go to floor plan. I want to um, maybe, uh, hell, maybe we don't need a reference. Uh, that, that's fine. Let's create a reference plan just close to this reference, uh, this uh, brick wall. And I'm going to draw something on this reference plan. Okay, so uh, maybe a model line. Okay, so model line. And I'll draw on word plan, set to a plan, pick this. So pick a plan and OK. So pick this plan. So I'm going to draw it in 3D view. So choose this 3D view, open view. So now we can draw something in this view. So what I want to do is I want to create a spline. So something like this, okay? So something like this, just some random, you know, uh, shape. And okay. So finish it maybe here. Okay, so escape, finish it. Um, so what I want to do is I want to use the distance between the bricks and this spline to uh, define the rotation angle of the bricks. So uh, something like uh, where the bricks, uh, if the bricks are very close to this reference line, so the rotation angle will be uh, positive so for example, 20 degree, and where you know the brick is far away from the the reference line. So for example, this one, it will be negative 20. Okay, so let's do it. So first, we need to set a uh, select. Let's use a select element. So select model element. This one. 
So we're going to use this to select this model line. Okay. So now we can use um, location get locations. Okay. So right click and search get location. So this will give us a location of this line. So you will see this purple, oh, not purple, blue color. So this is the location of this line. And then we need to get the location of the bricks. So the same, I'll just copy Ctrl C, Ctrl V, and then link this to this brick. So this is a list of the bricks. So if I click around, so you will see all this blue dot. These are location of the bricks. And then we can use um, distance. So right click distance. So see this one, distance two. So this is the one we're going to use. So geometry to geometry, other to geometry. So now if I click on run, so you will see we have this list. But currently the list is, uh, see 500, 200. So I don't want to have the angle 500 degree or 200 degree. So what we can do is right click, remap. So uh, I think this one, so math remap range. Okay, so link this number to double and we just need to type in a minimum angle. So and a, a maximum angle. So for, for example, negative 20 degree to a minimum and positive 20 degree to max maximum. So now if I run this time, the list become and all the number from negative 20 to positive 20. So now we can link this back. So if I drag, drag, oh sorry, drag this to here maybe, and link this list back to the value, run, and all these bricks will be rotated. It will take a few seconds, okay? And That's it. So now if I, let me just have a look of these brick, bricks. So you will see the pattern. It follows this line. Yeah. Oh, we're good. And all, of course, if you want to, so for example, if you want to uh, increase the gap or reduce the gap you could just adjust this number um, yeah that's that's it um, okay <laughs> if if you have any question please let me know I'll, I'll upload this family for you and so I think this is quite a simple uh, the dynamo part is quite simple I'll just uh, so this so maybe you can you can stop the screen and have a look so it's very simple right all good thank you for watching and i'll see you next time thank you bye